about a pint or half a litre of cold cream, cream that's about at least a day or two days old. If it's warm, it won't break when the fat and the water separate. And so we put that into a, the bowl of a mixer. Some people will use a whisk. I use a K beater because I think it's, it's fine. So the first thing that's going to happen, it'll whip it, it'll whip in air, and it'll be just like whipped cream. Then it over whips it and it'll collapse, and you keep on going to the point when the cream breaks. So this is lovely Jersey cream from the farm. Here we are, now we're thick. Look, nicely whipped. Now you can see we're just over whipped it and it's starting to become a little bit grainy. Now you could, if you wanted to, you could stop it and you could clean down the sides. And you can see that the colour would be changing as well. Now I usually put it over this stage to break down a second. You can hear it sloshing. There we are. Now, take this. We need to just pour off the milk. Okay. And in the old days, when your cream was ever so slightly fermented before they made butter, you could make soda bread with that. But now, now it's sweet fights gone. So there we are. So we go up to the sink, cold water. And we want to get out all the milk. Okay. And keep on doing that until it comes clean. And every time you do it, you can see that the water is a little bit cleaner. Okay. You're trying to get out all the milk, any milk, because that's actually going to interfere with your with the with the keeping qualities of your butter. Because the milk is going to go sour, whereas butter being fat actually will really will will last an awful lot longer. And we, and we might even put it back into the machine and give it a bit of a, a beat this time. Try and get out any more. So that's coming fairly clean now. But you don't want it too much because actually you're going to beat in there and, and you might make it too soft. So usually you're better off just leaving it rest on the sieve. Yeah, pull that off there. Yeah, you see it's still dirty. See that? It knocked out a bit. So I'm going to, I'm going to change it one more time. See? Yeah. That's probably enough, you know. And then actually what they do is they actually squeeze it then to get out the rest of the moisture. But because the drier the butter is, the better it keeps. Don't wash your butter in hot water. It'll all melt and go down the sink. To weigh the butter, now this has been draining, and it's a bit more liquid. Uh, we put it to weigh it, and it's 288 grams. It's about 2%, so it's 2% we'll of the weight, tiny bit over. So we put in six grams of salt. There we go. Mash it in. And then we leave it sit for a bit longer and the salt will work its way in. Then it'll be ready for serving. And if you were doing it now, you'd finish it off in nice pats, but there you are, I'm not doing it, so there you are. But it's already started to draw out. You can see there's still a tiny little bit of milk in it. It last a couple of days, fat. And we just leave it there. And it'll continue to drain a bit because the salt will pull out a little bit more liquid. And then we're ready.